Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will troubleshoot the issue secure network and you are connected with the network but there is no network, okay? So if you are getting this issue, this video is for you. We will troubleshoot this issue one by one. So first go to control panel and we will reset the bed setting. Sometime we misconfigured the setting. So go to control panel, okay? Go to view and click on large icons here. Once you select the large icons here, you need to look for internet options. In this first method, we will reset the personal settings as well as the bed settings. Go to connection tabs. Okay. Once you click on connection tab, look for LAN setting. And first we need to make sure that the automatic data setting is selected here. There should not be any manual IP configured here. You need to select it automatic. Okay. Once select automatic, go to advanced options and restore advanced setting. Click on that. Once you click on that, apply. Okay. And then click on reset this option. And this will delete the personal setting as well and all the errors. Now reset all the deleting personal setting, apply default setting, disabling browser ads on, resetting user customization, okay? So if you have made something wrong settings on your windows, your issue will be fixed. If still not fixed, we need to look for any manual IP we have configured with our network NIC card. Right click on the device option and go to open internet and settings. Then click on change adapter options. And if you want, don't want to go like this, you can just press window plus R button and then type by ncpa.cpl and you will go on this page, okay? Same page, you will get this option. You need to look for the connected network, go to its properties with the right click, okay? And you need to scroll down and disable this IPv6 option. And after that, disable this option as well. File and pretend sharing for Microsoft network. Okay. Both should be unchecked. Click on OK. And after that, again, go to the same, same device. Disable this once. Once this is disabled, refresh it. And again, Click on that and right click enable it. Okay. And then try to connect with the network. So now it should connect it now and your issue will be fixed. If still not fixed, we can look for any manual IP inside our NSC card. Go to its properties. This version, this option you need to look for internet protocol version 4 TCP IP. Go to its properties and check if there is any manual IP. If there is any manual IP here, okay, you need to select that or obtain an IP automatically and obtain DNS server automatically. Or you can choose the Google DNS 8.8.8.8 and in the alternative 8.8.4.8. Once it is selected, make sure the automatic and this option, second option and apply OK. And check if your issue is solved or not. If still not solved, we can update our driver. Sometime outdated driver can cause this issue as well. So we can update our driver since the old driver is not compatible with our Windows and it does not work properly with the Windows latest version. OK, go to device manager. Open it and you need to look for network adapters here. This is the option and find your Wi-Fi here. You can search which I told you and cpa.cpl to identify the driver name. Now you can see driver name Intel dual band wireless. Okay. So we need to look for this option Intel dual band wireless. You need to right click on that and update driver. Update it once. If this is not working, you can right click uninstall. Okay. And uninstall it and restart your system. 
once the restart is done your driver will be back automatically and your issue will be fixed if issue is still persist go to cmd and we will hit some commands here right click on the cmd run it as administrator click on yes button when the prompt opens and we need to hit some commands here let us search space winsock space reset space catalog and hit enter once you hit enter you will see the message successfully reset the winsock catalog you need to type another command net sh int space ip ipv4 space reset again type reset dot log and hit enter once you will hit this command all the socket errors will be gone once it is done you need to type here the ip config space slash flush dns this will flush the all the cache inside your dns and you must restart your system okay once it is done you need to restart your system and your issue will be fixed so hope your issue is fixed now so one of them step is working on your windows if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech